Fifth grade, lesson 64. And this is using money to model decimal numbers. Okay, so okay. let's write down this right here. Let's say uh, $6.24. Let's do 54 cents. I want to show you something. Okay? Write that down on your paper. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 54 cents. Let's talk about whole numbers real quick. Okay, Eli? Okay. Whole numbers come before the decimal, on the left of the decimal. What? So I have six whole dollars, don't I? Yeah. Okay? So it's like whole numbers. Okay? Now, help me review the place value of whole numbers. Okay? What's this place called, Eli, in, in numbers? Ones. Ones. Okay? Tens. And hundreds. Hundreds. Okay, and it just keeps going on and on and on, and we've learned that before. Okay? Then there's a decimal. Okay? So, how many ones do I have in this spot? Six. Six. So, I'd have six $1 bills, right? To show that. Right, Eli? Mm-hmm. Isaac, whatever you're doing, please stop. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this is the ones, the tens, and the hundred. Okay, but we're going to talk about after the decimal. Okay? okay, so we have six ones, right? Six dollar bills. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about 50 and four. Oh. Okay, actually, well, let's do 44 or 34, just because I want to try to do something. What would I use in this spot to bring out 30? Um, put a zero behind okay, it. Okay, yes, but I'm talking about money, Eli. What would I use to make 30? I don't know. Okay, would I use pennies? Oh. Nickels, dimes, quarters, what? To make 30. What's the best way to make 30? Um. Using the same coin. A, one coin? Using the same type of coin. Oh, just. 30 pennies, I guess. Yes. Oh, three dimes? Three dimes. Okay. And what is a dime? Ten. Tens. Okay. Now listen. If I had, let's say, uh, $26, okay, I would have six $1 bills and two $10 bills. Okay. Right? Yep. Tens, ones. And if I had more money, $526. I would have five hundred dollar bills, mm -hmm. two ten dollar bills, six one dollar bills. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about after the decimal. Looking at this one, what coin? These ones use a dollar bill, a ten dollar bill, a hundred dollar bill. What does this use? You told me a dime. Six. Yeah. How many dimes? Okay. How many? Ten. I, three. Three dimes would make 30 something cents. We're going to talk about the four in a minute. Okay. okay? So, it, you, we say, is the tenth, tenth mm -hmm. spot. Because we're using tens, but it's not the same tens as this one. So, because it's after the decimal, everything has TH on the end. Okay. Okay. Now, think about. The four. What could you use to make four? I've got 30. Four. Four pennies? Four pennies. How many pennies are in a dollar? Hundred. So this is our pennies, so we need hundred. This is worth tens. This is worth hundred. Hundred with a TH. Hundredth is how you say it. Hundred. Okay, so if I said this, this would be three tenths. Four hundredths. Okay. Okay, and that's all I want you to see is these two spots after it. Okay. Feel like you understand it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to erase it. I want you to tell me what each spot is when I point to it. What is the six? Ones. What is the two? Hundreds. Tens. Tens. What is the three? One. Tenths. Tenths. What is the four? Hundreds. What is the five? Hundreds. 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 Not the. Very good. Okay. Now, what I want you to see 
It's something the book was showing you, which it's, it's kind of good. But you know how this one, we're doing that $526. We're going to talk about this in just a minute. $526. This would be the ones. This would be the tens. This would be the hundreds, right? Uh huh. What is one times ten? One times. Okay. Uh. What do you mean? Times. They're just trying to show you something. One we times were doing ten. Ones. Ten. One times ten is ten, and then if we times that one by ten, we would get a hundred. We times that one by ten, we come to the next one, which is thousands. You see what's happening? It's been multiplied every time. Uh -huh. To get the next spot, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, okay? Same thing happens when you go to the right of the decimal, but instead of timesing by a hundred, mm -hmm. you divide, or timesing by ten, you divide by ten. Mm. Okay? So this is right now, it's a one, so let's divide one divided by ten, and it brings us one over ten, which is called the tenths spot. And then if we divide that one by 10, it brings us to 1 over 100, which is the hundred spot, 100, 10, okay? Now, this doesn't have to make sense to you. I'm just showing you that there is a pattern, and there is a pattern. Uh -huh. But I like using the money method for you to understand what is, okay? Yeah. So this was to show you that there's a pattern. What I showed you in the beginning is to show you how to do it. Got it? Yeah. All right, let's do some of the problems that they give us here. What combination of dollars, dimes, and pennies makes $4.65? Using the fewest bills and coins as, and the fewest bills and coins possible. Now, these are the three different types of things you're using. So, how many dollars do I need? Uh, four. Four. So it'd be like one, two, three, four. Four one dollar bills, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sixty-five cents. How would I get my sixty? How many uh, dimes okay. would I need? Six. Six of them. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to put ten cents on it. Oh, we could get a nickel, right? Okay. We make it five. We're not going to do nickels because it says to use dollars, dimes, and pennies. Oh, okay. Okay? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six dimes, four dollars, and then I need to do five what? Pennies. pennies. One, two, three, four, five. One penny, one penny, one penny. Do you see how that uses five pennies? Yeah. All right. So we use dollar, dimes, and pennies to figure out um, using the fewest bills and coins possible. We would need four dollars, six dimes, and five pennies to equal that amount of money, right? All right, let's do a quick review. I have this amount of money, and I asked you, what is the place value of the four? What would you tell me? Um, after the what do you call it? Hundreds. Hundreds, very good. Why? Because there's a hundred of pennies in a dollar. And because we're going to this side, yeah. that's what we do. So tens, hundreds. Got it? We skip the ones. There is no ones. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Okay. Now, last thing. If I asked you this amount of money, $3.67, is it closer to $3.60 or $3.70? 70. Very good. So how we would see that, between which two tens is it? is between $3.60 and $3.70. We know that the middle point is what? Uh, 65. $3.65, okay? And so 67 would go somewhere like this. So it is closer to $3.70. You got it? Yep. All right, that's lesson 64.